Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick dropper comparison between the Bike Yoke Revive and the Fox Transfer. Uh, I've had the Bike Yoke for about six months now. I bought it in October and it's March. And here in Great Falls, Montana, I used it all winter long. So I've ridden in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s throughout the winter. And it's just been flawless. From day one till now, I haven't had to reset it, do any maintenance, nothing. You just push it down and it just so smooth and responsive. You can let it go part way up and it just snaps no matter where it is, just snaps back into place. Very impressed with it. It's such a solid, solid dropper. The Fox Transfer I've only had for about a month now. And uh, the first few rides I had, it worked great. I would say from the get-go, the bike yoke just seemed smoother. The Fox Transfer seemed to kind of start a little bit slower and then snap, whereas the bike yoke is just smooth. It's just consistent. But after a few rides, I've started having problems with this one sticking about halfway up. See, it's still trying. But yeah, it's gotten sticky after, I don't know, half dozen rides or so, something. In temperatures that were probably warmer than what that's gone through this winter, because you know, I, I got this about a month ago. So anyways, I'm gonna go through and try and re-lube it, service it, see if that'll take care of it, but Nonetheless, or need this to say, it's pretty disappointing that in just a few rides, this transfer post has already had issues. But certainly if you're trying to decide between the box transfer and the bike yoke, and you're concerned about how well it functions, then I would highly recommend the bike yoke and question your Fox transfer. And I thought I'd throw this in too. I just picked this bike up a couple weeks ago and it came with a Fox transfer as well. Obviously not the Kashima coat. And uh, so I've been, had five or six rides on it so far and it's worked, it's worked great. Haven't had any troubles out on the trail with it yet. It's, it's working as well as the other one did to start with. Um, but I would say Overall, that one, the bike yoke still feels smoother. It just, it just seems like a higher quality product. And the one thing I have noticed about this, if you don't touch it, it works great. It pops back up, but if you bump it, it can get stuck. See, before it finally pops back up. Whereas the bike yoke, it doesn't matter where you stop it. If you bump it, it's gonna just continue to come up. This one can get stuck. It's happened to me out on the trail. It's working pretty good right now. But I can just tell, I think I'm gonna have the same issues I had with the other one here before too long. And I'm gonna go in and try service them both and kind of see what the, see if that takes care of them, if it's just a lack of grease from the factory or, or what the problem may be. But needless to say, going forward, I'm definitely putting my money towards the bike yoke. It is, in my opinion, a superior, far more reliable product. Fox Transfer, I've had both, I've had two of them now. They've both been kind of finicky. Kind of, again, something I was trying to decide between, between the two, and this would have been interesting to me. And hope that helps you guys out if you guys are looking between these two droppers. Bike yoke for the win. Thanks.